Hello, my very most beautiful Virgos. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your February monthly reading. Now this is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you guys will need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is in the description box below for you. I do have a Valentine's Day sale going now through um, February 11th. You guys can ask three love-related questions for $20 or five for $35. Um, I still have regular personals open as well if um, that's something you're interested in. Everything you guys need to know about the reading or about scheduling those is going to be in the description box for you. So Archangel, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my most beautiful Virgos, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Virgo's energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my lovelies, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. Oh my goodness, all of you guys have had the emperor, um, either the emperor or the emperor in the reverse in this exact same first spot. That is absolutely crazy to me. All right, so we are doing just general monthly predictions. Um, whatever comes up, we're going to just take a look and see what energies are at play for you guys. We have the Four of Cups and the Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Swords. So definitely something here. Somebody's on your mind, okay? Somebody's on your mind. Somebody, Some of you guys could be really contemplating um, reaching out to somebody with this energy, okay? Or they could be contemplating reaching out to you. Um, take it how it resonates, but um, I definitely feel like there's a little bit of a fear of rejection here, um, holding somebody back, whether this is you or them. So we have the Emperor here. Let's grab another deck. We're going to clarify as we go along. So somebody here, whether this is you or them, really wants to kind of so it feels like an energy of not wanting to take any chances. Like somebody who just wants to kind of control the whole situation, know exactly how things are going to, you know, pan out. So it's like, okay, well, I want to reach out. I have things I want to say, but I only want to do it if, you know, I know it's going to be taken, received, or I know they're going to respond, or I know it's going to go well. You know, it's really trying to really um, control the outcome here. The sun card. Three of Swords. Very different energy there. So it's like, you know, I do feel like this, whether this is you or them. So I feel like if it's you, okay, that was thinking about reaching out here, um, it could very well be to me that, you know, this feels like you see this person as your happiness. You're hurting right now without them. You don't like the way that things are, um, but you're afraid of reaching out. You know, or it could be vice versa. They could be, you know, feeling that way with you or they're very unhappy without you. They know that there's been a lot of pain between the two of you and, you know, they see you as their happiness. Tell me about this two of pentacles in the reverse. Ten of pentacles. So somebody could be really trying to, you know, feeling very overwhelmed here by, you know, I'm getting the word responsibilities. You know, this could be like, you know just home, your home life in general, trying to maintain the home, trying to pay the bills, trying to go to work. You know, this could be stuff going on with your friends or your family as well. And feeling just like, feeling like a little bit of an overwhelming energy, feeling like I don't really have, um, you know, I really, I really am not balancing it all good. I, I don't have control over the whole situation. You know, that's something that's coming up as well. So it's like almost not wanting to add to it, especially if this is you feeling very out of control and balance, you know, very out of balance, feeling like you have a lot. It just feels like you have a big weight. You're, you're like you're, you have a lot on your plate and you're having a hard time juggling it. It's kind of what that feels like to me. A lot of responsibilities. Okay. And um, those could have been expanding as well. Okay. We do have Jupiter and Capricorn here with the two of pentacles, which is kind of expansion. So there could just be more work on your plate as well tell me about this high priestess in the reverse the knight of swords so i do feel like you're getting more sure okay i do feel like a lot of you guys it could be you wanting to reach out okay but just dealing with a lot 
and it's like I don't I don't know if I want to add to it I don't know if I want to add to it right now um, I feel like there you are moving into an energy though where you will be getting more clear about more clear about what you want okay becoming more sure um, even if you can't see how it's going to go the thing with the high priestess is she can see the beginning middle and end of every situation okay the beginning middle and event and she knows how it's going to go I feel like you you're getting to this place where you don't need that you know I feel like initially that's what you wanted but it's like you know you're becoming more clear about what you want to say okay moving forward what needs to be said tell me about this world energy what is this world card like I said this doesn't have to be a love relationship this could be something at work um this could also be a friend or a family member um with this energy too okay and, and it's just like you're dealing with a lot and you don't want to add to it you don't want to deal with this too Tell me about this world card here. The Eight of Wands in the reverse. So some of you guys either it's not received or it's not received um, in a positive way, the communication. Okay. And some of you guys could just be choosing to, you know, really close the cycle out because of that. You know, and maybe that is what you needed in order to like you know, give it that one last chance or give that person that one last chance or whatever it is. You know, maybe that's what it takes. Maybe that's what you really needed in order to kind of get that closure that you needed to move forward. Tell me about the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here? The strength card. So this person could have had, could, you could be realizing that this person has you blocked or you could be choosing to block them, finding the strength to block them. Um, for some of you guys, I feel like you you know, I do feel like for, it's kind of both, okay? So some of you guys are choosing to, I feel almost feels like this energy, so like of trying to be the bigger person. There could have been some kind of falling out between you and somebody here, whether it's a friend, a family member, a lover. Okay, and it's almost like you're trying to rise above it. So you're, you're contemplating, you're coming up with what you want to say here, how you want to handle the situation, and that becomes clear to you. Like, okay, you know what, I'm going to do the right thing. Um, but in the, there's some kind of blocking here, or it doesn't go well, so you end up blocking something like that here. I do feel like it's a very painful situation either way. Tell me about this Three of Swords energy. The Five. So, yeah, for a lot of you guys, I do feel like you're the ones that are reaching out. I do feel like it does hurt, you know, the, either the lack of response for this person or, um, you know, what this person responds with is very painful to you. It's very disappointing. This is not what you, you know, this is not kind of what you wanted here. But I do feel like it does, at the bottom of the deck, you have the King of Swords and the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. I do feel like it really shows you... Um, you know, this person's true colors. And I do feel like it really does allow you to be able to release this because you know that you did the right thing. You know that you tried in this situation. Okay. And now you're like, okay, well now I can, I can feel good about releasing this. I can feel good about, you know, my part and things. I can feel good about moving forward. Okay. So that is what I'm seeing. I do feel like it could be very disappointing guys. Um, there could be some kind of, like I said, falling out with a, a friend, family member, lover, something like that here. But you're, it's really showing you and showing you a true another side to somebody. It's really showing you, um, you know what you're, what you're worthy of, and you know showing you that you deserve, you know you deserve better treatment than this. It's also really allowing you to get that l last little bit of closure and clarity that you need, so that you can you know move forward. And you don't have to hold on to this energy. You don't have to take this on. Okay, so that is what I'm seeing for you guys. It looks like for the month of February. Um, being able to heal, being able to release, you know, after a really s sticky situation, but things becoming more clear, so you will be getting clarity. That is what I'm seeing for you guys. If it resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes your moon rising and Venus can actually resonate more than your sun sign does. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. But most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light. Until next time.